This is a continuation of the Quran says what? Which is what I'll be uh, uh, publishing, I believe, on August 6th of this month. Yeah, August 6th, I will. The 70th anniversary of the dropping of the Hiroshima bomb. And then I'll make uh, different versions of it in uh, different languages for August 9th of this year. The dropping of the Nagasaki bomb, 70th anniversary. Okay, hey, I'll continue where I left off here. I'm getting gray. Dang, getting gray. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh well. Well, hey, when you're in your 50s, things like that start happening. So, oh well. All right, I'll continue back here again. Me and the slaves were Muslims who first came over as slaves, but I'm sure they never suffered like they did at the hands of Christians. Suffered? In what way? What did the Christians do to them? In the first part of Quran 424, you can have sex with someone's wife if she's your slave. If it, 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 Is there a scripture like that in the before scriptures? Bible of the Quran says it confirms. Sure, even the Bible has lines about slavery that is why the masters use religion as an excuse for their actions. If you think the Bible allows for slavery, check out the Quran, for the Quran says it confirms the before scriptures Bible, and thus the Bible is put all his words. So you have what it so you have what it is so you have what is in the Bible and the first part of Quran four twenty four allowing for slavery in Islam. Religion is not the cause of slavery. Human slavery. Human beings were and are. Even animals and insects enslave, yeah. Ants enslave aphids. The cuckoo bird enslaves other birds to take care of its own young. But the Quran makes it all okay. It, just, it, it makes it just all justified. That's if Islam is true. Like I said, you can't blame any religion for the actions of humans. We are all we all have free will, no matter what our faith you no matter what faith you follow. There is no free will according to Islam. For in the Quran, you have all a willing on and off the right path as all that pleases. And if you believe in the Quran, then you have to join ISIS because Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39 threaten you with a painful doom if you don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of Allah. Uh, like Muslims who join ISIS do. Now it's ISIS. Save your shit, shit, shit talk for somebody else. If you study Islam, you will see that ISIS is going by the book, the Quran. It's clear what you are here for to purely bash Muslims. False. Come here to let blacks know what they're getting into if they join ISIS. That's all. And that you can do all by your damn self. It would be a miracle if I could do that. There couldn't be no ISIS if there wasn't for the actions of the U.S. government to begin with. Actually, there would be no ISIS if the Quran didn't exist. Especially Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39. That compelled Muslims... Uh, pious Muslims to join ISIS. You know, I think I'll see what that is anyway. Ow. Oh. Ah. It's nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay. There'd be no ISIS if there wasn't for the actions of U.S. government to begin with. Actually, there'd be no ISIS if there was no Quran, if the Quran did exist, especially Quran 9, 111, 30, 39, that compelled pious Muslims to join ISIS. Look, I'm not going to even waste my time in getting into a big debate with you about Islam and ISIS, okay? This video is about slavery, right? And it's perfectly allowed, thanks to the Quran and some scriptures in the Bible. The thing is, more and more people are believing in the Quran, which not only allows for slavery, but sex with someone's wife if she's your slave, right hand possess. 
Stop trying to focus people's attention on, on, to, on to other things just to suit your own ideals. I'm just letting blacks know what they're getting into if they join Islam. That's all. My name is Kathy, not Cat. Right. And my name is Nellan Yesmar here, not now. Of course, I call myself now, and I called her Cat just to shorten it down here. Let's see, how much time do I have left here? And is this thing recording? Oh, yeah, I got some time. Yeah, all right. This is uh, to a guy that actually deleted his words to get... He ended up making me talk to myself for nothing. He deleted his words. But I thought, what the heck? And I ended up finding him later. And, um... Yeah, but he, he, he deleted his words, making me look like I was talking to nothing. So... What the heck? I'll see, uh... What I said that made him possibly delete his words. Okay. What, what, what caught this thing going? Oh, this is an Anwar al-Awlaki uh, video. Understanding the Quran by Anwar al-Awlaki, part one. I say this, I say this. The Quran infers that embryos go through a blood clot stage, and according to the Sahih Authentic Hadith, this stage is uh, 40 days in duration. I, I kid you not. And that got him talking, but then he deleted it. But I said this to him in response. I said, where does it say in... Where does it say like a leech in the Sahih Authentic Hadiths. What does, then it becomes a clot of blood, which is 40 days in duration. What does that mean to you? Where does it say like a leech? By the way, uh, the drying up of the Euphrates comes from the Bible, thus Mo plagiarized from the Before Scriptures Bible, which Quran says, does say, does, uh, and by the way, which Quran does it say like a leech instead of how it is in the Sahih authentic hadith with uh, quote then it becomes a clot of blood which is 40 days in duration which which Quran are you talking about where does it say like a leech uh, like like a leech which Quran version by the way my avatar comes from a picture of one of my books I published to Amazon a science fiction horror book called the wrath of Ramadar and then he says something, but then he deletes it, which got me saying, Wrath of Ramadar is about a ship uh, of, of space travelers who go to visit an old friend of theirs on a heavenly-like planet where the people have the ability to fly with the power of their mind and discover that the planet has been taken over by a godlike energy force that forces the people to face in the direction of a giant golden dome twice a day to feed off their life forces, or it will destroy one of their villages or cities if anyone refuses. Um, it will uh, take on the form of a giant Muslim as it goes Godzilla on a city, destroying the city with destroying the city with Godzilla-like spray and lightning coming out of its hands. The captain of the ship has super power himself and fights the giant Muslim-like monster and loses to it. They then decide to attack the Golden Dome, the power source of the giant Muslim, and that's when things start going the right, going in the, the right, the right direction for the people of the planet oppressed uh, by such a monster. When the crew of the ship Mutania finally destroyed the Golden Dome, everyone was forced to face twice a day. The giant Muslim suddenly shrinks to half its giant size, looks very old and feeble, but one last time bows down to the ruins of the giant destroyed dome one last time to try to gain once one last ounce of sustenance from it failing to get any it turns into a mountain of ancient desert sand and crumbles into a giant sand dune and the people are happy and free and he said something but uh I wasn't able to respond. I, I respond to him, but I just say this. I've been studying Islam since I, I majored in theology back in the 1980s. The, I, and, and I really got into it when the Somali Muslims bit the hand that fed them with the Black Hawk Down incident. Uh, whether Somalis are Muslim or not, it, it got me studying Islam and seeing the great 
and stupid evil threat it poses to those who love freedom. Well, at least you can laugh. What part of kill and be killed in the cause of, or, of Allah or experience a painful doom do you not understand? How is a nine-year-old playing with dolls a full-grown woman? It's like I'm talking to myself because he deleted everything he said here. And I say, if, if I'm wrong about Quran 9, 111, 38, and 39, you need to make a video about why I am uh, wrong about, what, about it. For so many Muslims seem to be joining ISIS to fulfill those three main Quran scriptures. Anyway, later on in this book, he and I get into it again. And I don't know if he's deleted all the stuff or not because I left it on his video so he probably deleted everything I said but I but since he probably will do that I already made a book of it I just need to publish it I thought I would uh, put it on before it was deleted anyway I say this how much you want to bet we wouldn't know who Charlie Hebdo is if it weren't for those three scriptures it's Quran 9 111 38 and 39 um, 9 11 would still be seen as emergency number to call because 911 of the Quran goes along with 9-11-01 September 11th 2001 that's when they attacked fulfilling that scripture kill and be killed in the cause of the law Quran 911 okay and he said something but I wasn't able to uh, just like I'm talking to myself because I didn't feel it was answered properly and uh, this is most of what got rid of this is probably what caused him to delete everything he he said because then I say I say oh no there's one more okay all right um again if I'm wrong about Quran 9 11 38 39 you need to make a video about why I am wrong about those scriptures for so many Muslims seem to join Isis to fill those three main scriptures streaming Quran scriptures how much you want to bet we wouldn't know who Charlie Hebdo was if it weren't for those three main scriptures 9-11 would still be seen okay and I okay I guess I published it twice okay then I say this it's not just Quran 911 it's 938 and 39 with 911 that make Muslims join Isis how can you as a Muslim not to join Isis when you take into account all three of those scriptures uh, what part of of stay at home or, and or experience a painful doom if uh, experience stay at home and experience a painful doom if you don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of law? What part of those do you not understand? And with that, he deleted all his words. So, anyway, is that it? Oh yeah, I better.